The European Union as a bloc is as useless as Joe Biden in the US administration. It is a dead power basically, still living in dreams and making castles in the air. For example, see this. The EU now wants to impose sanctions on India. The reason India's trade with Russia. As per a report by the Financial Times, EU is planning to punish one Indian firm along with three Chinese. This would be the first time EU will be directly imposing sanctions on an Indian firm. Why is this extremely useless or the EU bloc is angry with India and China? Did they blow up their gas pipeline? No, it was US. And why India and China? As per the EU, the Indian firm is involved in supplying Russia with electronic components that could be used in the war against Ukraine. After all, the EU has some standards <clears throat> that don't support war and stand for peace. That's why they have stopped selling arms to Israel. Remove these images now! Well, let's move on. Let's know about the wider geopolitical factors at play here. EU is angry with India because New Delhi is vehemently opposing the bloc's carbon tax regime. What is that carbon tax regime? EU wants to impose additional import duty on Indian and Chinese goods, especially high carbon items such as steel, iron and cement. The import duty will be as high as 20 to 35 percent. This will become a huge trade barrier and hurt Indian exporters. And last year, India did something that irked the EU big time. Watch yourself. India is likely to impose a carbon tax on imports from Europe, which is being seen as a tit-for-tat move against the EU. Media reports suggest that Indian government is looking to develop a measure to calculate the carbon content in imported goods from the EU. India's move is in response to the EU imposing a customs duty on goods that emit high amounts of gases that contribute to climate change. Additionally, India is also planning to submit a protest against the EU at WTO. And guess what? India is backed by major powers like China and Saudi Arabia. So, EU is obviously angry. How the hell this country can talk back? Moving on, another constant pain in the EU's ass is the free trade agreement with India. EU wants to arm twist India into accepting a more favorable deal to the bloc. EU wants full access to the Indian market, especially the automobile, alcohol and agriculture sectors. India is showing apprehensions because full market access will be hurtful for the Indian farmers and Indian car makers. Here I want to clarify, I am a great supporter of EU-India ties. The two sides can have enormous benefits from this partnership. India can provide the EU with a valuable trade partner and help it diversify its supply chains away from China, while the EU has the potential to provide India with the investment, technology and market access it needs to grow its economy. But the problem starts when EU behaves like a schoolmaster. The condescending behavior. You will do as I tell. This attitude is what makes India and most of the global south for that matter wary of their dependence on the West. This is how a trust deficit is created. EU days are long gone. Today China is the world's second largest economy and India is soon going to become the world's third. A beleaguered EU should stop biting more than it can chew. That's all for today. Thanks for watching outright. Subscribe for more such videos.